Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So in today's video, I'm actually continuing the gold grail grind. I was actually supposed to complete Reptile in yesterday's video, but I ended up grinding the ram. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go check it out. But as you guys can see, for Reptile, I don't have that many kills left while using no attachments on my grail. So hopefully I should get that done within at least one match. And after that, I think I might start something like Topo, so I'll just mount up. But to be honest, as long as I get Reptile done in today's video, then I'm all good. I can actually put attachments back on my gun. Also, Call of Duty had a little bit of a playlist update. They added in gunfight, party modes, and they kept shooting the ship because it's supposed to be here for the whole month. They did say that it's supposed to be here for the whole month of September, so it's actually really good, especially if you're grinding out Obsidian. Also, within the store, they actually added more to the new operator, and it looks really sick because there's a little cowboy hat, which is actually really cool. You also get this tombstone assault rifle, which actually has a mort tracer, which alternates between red, white, and green, and also applies the dismemberment effect. So that's actually pretty sick. I mean, the gun the colors are clean, but it's not really anything special. Same with the attachments, the attachments aren't special. They also have the same thing with the marksman rifle. I mean, I can't wait to see people actually run around and start using these more tracers. I mean, I know I'm gonna get shot by them a lot, but it'd be pretty cool to see what tracer rounds I get hit with. Kind of sad that I want people to kill me to see what tracer rounds I get hit with. And then you also get a bunch of other mort cowboy things, which is actually pretty sick. This bundle actually does seem pretty cool. And along with the mort bundle, they did add this devourer bundle, which comes with this ravenous assault rifle. And I mean, it looks sick. I love how shiny it is. The colors aren't really anything special. Same with the attachments. The attachments make it look really bulky. That's not too bad. But anyways, guys, before I get into it, if you guys please give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to show your support. I appreciate all of it. Support on the past few videos lately have just been insane. Thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate it. But anyways, guys, let's hop right into it. I just joined this game. This game's nearly over, but I guess it's good because as long as I get kills for Reptile, then it's all good by me. The Call of Duty Cold War multiplayer reveal comes out tomorrow. It actually comes out tomorrow morning in Australia, so I'm very excited about that. I won't be able to react to it right away when it comes out, but I'm still reacting to it nonetheless. So make sure you guys stay tuned for a video on that because I really hope it's sick. Like, you can only imagine what they're going to release in the trailer, like what maps they're going to reveal, what weapons they'll show. Call of Duty did tease a little bit of what's coming tomorrow. On their Twitter page, they released like a short video which has the thing that says tomorrow, and it has like an AK. So I'm assuming they're going to have like some AK gameplay in there. It would be pretty sick to see how the gameplay feels. A lot of Call of Duty partners or content creators, they did actually get sent the game or sent out to play the game. With everything going on in the world, I don't think they got sent out, but again, I don't know. So they got sent like a little demo of the game because a lot of people were talking about it. They actually got to play some of the multiplayer. So I don't know if they're going to release footage. I don't know if they're allowed to record it. But if they were allowed to record it, it would be sick if they do release gameplay and their thoughts and opinions on the game because it just seems like it's going to be really sick, dude. I want the game to be good, feel good, and be fun at the same time. Like, it's kind of hard to get all three of those in one game. But if Call of Duty does it correctly, dude, it would make it so fun to actually go for that mastery camo. Because in Mod Warfare, going for Damascus is really difficult. Like, even going for Obsidian, like, I don't know if a lot of people would choose Obsidian over Damascus now that I think about it. But Damascus just makes you play so dumb. Like, you have to mount up, get long shots, and do this, that, and the other that you wouldn't really do. It's a place so disgusting in order to get the mask. It's just ugh. Plus the grind is forever, dude. Like I give props to anyone that actually has Damascus or even Obsidian, because Obsidian just makes you brain dead, dude. I've seen a lot of people go for Obsidian. They just want shipment, and when shipment's not in, then they just cry. That's literally it, dude. Like, cause also as well, Obsidian wasn't like the best camera. Like when Obsidian first came out, people were like, oh my god, it's Obsidian, and it looks terrible. Like it is cool that Obsidian like carved to look like it was made out of Obsidian, but I mean the whole grind for that camera was really not that good. In my opinion, I like the colors of Damascus better than Obsidian. So hopefully nothing like that really happens in Cold War. I really want there to be a good mastery camera and even better double mastery camera, I guess is what you would say. Because it's the mastery camera after the mastery camera. So I completed a reptile. I only have five more kills with no attachments on my gun. I should definitely get that next game. And I can start using attachments on this thing. This should be my last game with this basic default growl. I'm gonna be so happy, dude. I mean, to be honest, the default growl's not even that bad. It's just that I like the steeplechase variant because you just run super fast. 
podcast, you turn into an athlete, a 100 meter sprinter to be specific. With Marvel's Avengers, I don't know if I told you guys in yesterday's video, but I did actually max out Captain America. Now that I think about it, I do actually remember telling you guys that. So I got Captain America to level 50. I have been working towards Iron Man, but not as much as I would want to yesterday. Like there were just so many mission chains that I was just trying to complete, so many daily things for Captain America that I was trying to complete. Like I'm trying to get all the costumes and all the emotes for Captain America without buying them from the store. Like I'm trying to grind for all of them, dude. So I mean, I have to play as Captain America a lot. <laughs> Probably more than I would actually like to though, just because I want to level up all my other heroes to level 50. I think my new strat is just to level all the heroes up to level 50 and then try to get the max power level. Cause you can only equip gear that goes up to 130 and then you have to boost that up to 140. And then you get exotic artifacts, which if you plus 10, if you boost them all the way up. So basically you have 130 gear, plus it by 10 for boosting the gear all the way up, including minor artifacts, mind you. That's a lot of resources. And they have exotic artifacts, which if you max that out, gives you plus 10 again. So if you max everything out, you have a maxed out 150 hero. I said it in previous videos, I wanted them to actually boost the power level up. Oh, there you go, reptile done. Or I reckon they will boost it just because it's kind of like destiny, gives you something to grind for. But the fact that you can't get 150 gear, it caps out at 130 and they have to boost all the way up, use a bunch of resources and grind for the resources, mind you. Yeah, I really don't want them to boost the power level anymore. Cause I don't know why they made the power level like that, dude. Like you have to boost it up to 150. Like why can't you just get 150 gear? Like that makes no sense to me. I kind of hope they do something like Destiny where they give you exotics, like character specific exotics. Like you complete a mission chain and then you get an exotic piece of gear or something that has like insane stats, insane things. Again, kind of like Destiny. Basically everything I suggest is just sort of like Destiny for Marvel's Avengers. Just because that's what the game reminds me of. Like I just want that sort of gameplay. Like of course Destiny wasn't really the best when it came out, but Destiny's actually striving right now. So I mean, I really hope there's a lot of replayability. I've played all the mission chains and the only thing for me really to do in Marvel's Avengers is to level up my heroes. But it's hard to level up your heroes when there's like no missions to do. Like they only rotate four missions that they give you, which kind of sucks. Just because they don't even give you like the best gear. Like they give you uncommon gear when you have like all legendaries. Like honestly, sometimes it just makes no sense to me. But I really just hope they add more missions, add more locations. I reckon with more of the DLC coming out, especially since it is free and they're going to add a bunch of new heroes and locations and villains as well. I do hope that there's going to be more missions in each of those areas. I just realized that you have to get more headshots in Modern Warfare in order to just complete one camera category than you did in order to get gold on Black Ops. Like you only have to get a hundred headshots in order to get gold on a Black Ops game. But in this game, you have to get like 125 just for one gun. Like that's 25 more dude. Like to be honest, if they keep that same headshot grind for the mastery camera in Black Ops, I'll be really happy because I already know that I can get headshots in this game and I've already gotten 125 for a bunch of different guns. And the fact that it's 25 less just makes it even better. Like I'll be super happy if they keep that dude. But then again, we have to wait and see. I don't really think they're gonna leak anything tomorrow with the multiplayer reveal, but they might. They might do something with zombies as well. A lot of people have been talking about they might actually do like a zombies reveal with the multiplayer, which I don't think so. Cause zombies is like its own thing. Zombies has its own little community. And that zombies community actually like decoded a bunch of leaks and teasers for Black Ops Cold War. So you have to give props to the zombies community for that. Cause when they want to find an Easter egg for a map, they will find an Easter egg for that map. And it's ridiculous, dude. I probably should be equipping attachments back on my gun, but to be honest, I actually kind of forgot. So I'm just gonna stick with the default growl. I mean, it's kind of beasting on everyone. All right, let's check out all these cameras I got for the growl. And all I did was complete 10 out of 10 for reptile, but I'll take it. Cause now I can put attachments back on my gun. Basically, the only thing I really need to do is just equip the steeplechase blueprint and then there you go. This is literally all the attachments I'm using on my gun. So I think in tomorrow's video, I might start going for topo, maybe. I think I'll do Topper and Splinter since Splinter is long shots, Topper is mounted. And if I get shoot house, basically just throw a smoke down, use a thermal and just get long shots on the other side. Hopefully if people do decide to run down metal. But anyways guys, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. So tomorrow is the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War multiplayer reveal trailer. Super excited for that. Super excited to see what gameplay they show. And I really hope they do showcase some new maps. I've got a feeling they're going to showcase at least like two. And also with some new guns, probably like the AK-47 since they did tease that. So yeah, very, very excited for that. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you guys see my reaction to the multiplayer review. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to show your support. I appreciate all of it. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. See you all in the next one.